Radio. Hey guys, Consocious Gaming here, and welcome to my first Q and A on my own. Um, if you didn't see the last Q and A, it was the one we did with the other channel owner, um, which is Harry. Hey guys, Consocious Gaming here. Both of us, motherfucker. Hello. We're doing, we're doing Q and A. And yeah, that, that Q&A went down quite well, so I'm going to be doing one uh, just by myself this time. So yeah, let's get straight into the questions. The first one is, and the first one is from Connor Kerrigan. And he says, would you rather never speak to any of your friends again, or never have a girlfriend ever? Sorry, Shona. Um, yeah, Shona's my girlfriend. So on one side, you have um, never having any friends, which means you can't go out, you can't play football, you can't do anything um, because you don't have any friends. But then the other side is you don't have a girlfriend, which means you don't have any sex or whatnot. So, I don't know. Never have any fun and never have any sex. That's a quite a difficult one. Um, and I'm probably going to have to go with never have any sex. Probably. Yeah, it's quite a difficult one. Uh, but anyway, KB Gamer says, why don't you play good games like Tube, Tycoon and Happy Wheels? Since when was Happy Wheels a good game? And the next question here is from James Mep Steed. Sorry if I butcher your name, by the way. And he says, what is your most favorite game and what was the first one you ever played? My first game that I ever played, I believe, was Sonic. Guys, I'm sat here editing and I've realized that I didn't mean Sonic at all. I meant Spyro the Dragon. So sorry about that. On the PlayStation 1. And my favorite ever game has to be GTA San Andreas. They are both just amazing. Um, I had so much fun as my childhood playing them. And yeah, that's that's my favorite too there. Cap Gaming here says, how long have you been doing YouTube? P.S. I'm Shauna's family. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I'll find out for you, hold on. Okay, so the channel that you're on now, uh, Consocious Gaming, this was created on the 21st of January, 2014. So two years for this channel and my personal channel, which I used to run by myself, uh, I've done since. And my personal channel that used to run by myself, um, I made that channel on my birthday back in 2011, so I was quite young when I made that. So yeah, that's how long I've been doing YouTube technically, uh, but yeah. Chip I Puzzle, my brother, he says, are you famous, please signature? Yes, I am definitely famous. I mean, come on, have you seen this channel and how much views we get? Yeah, definitely famous. Sure, you can have my signature if you just want to come upstairs and I'll give it for you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, and he says KFC or McDonald's. Now for those, those of you that don't know, um, I do in fact work at McDonald's and I probably do prefer it to KFC as my last experience with KFC wasn't very good. If you guys want to hear about that then let me know in the comments I guess. Um, but yeah, I work at McDonald's. Now most people at this fort would be like, oh he works at McDonald's, he's stupid, oh it's such a bad place to work. But honestly, if you guys are looking for a job and you automatically rule out McDonald's, that's what I was thinking when I was looking for a job. But honestly, it's, I, I enjoy working there. It's one of the best um, like working environments, in my opinion, um, that I've been in so far. And there's just like such a chill vibe with most of the staff. Like Everyone gets along well. We're basically like a little family and it's, it sounds pretty weird, but it's it's pretty awesome place to work. Um, so if you're out there and you've just finished your GCSEs, for example, honestly, working at McDonald's is not a bad job at all. Just ignore what anyone says and just go for it because you'll be laughing when they need to ask their mum for money and you uh, you have a bank full of it because everyone thinks, oh, McDonald's workers, they get no pay at all. That's actually quite wrong. They do actually get above average um, pay. So yeah, you'll be laughing in their faces when um, they have no money to go out and you do. But yeah, next question. So Luke Patterson, another one of my uh, brothers, my older brother. What is your YouTube goal? Subscriber slash views goal. Um, honestly, getting this far as, as as we are at the minute, that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, quite impressed and proud that we've actually got this far. 3,000 is quite a lot of people. Um, I'd, I'd like to get more views on videos as the videos I create, I do put a lot of time and effort into them, whether it's recording them. Um, think of uh, thinking of any ideas and editing them. It all does take quite a while. Um, I've invested quite a lot into YouTube, like the Elgato that I bought for YouTube, as I wasn't happy with the quality that I used to record at. Um, my new PC, so I can render quicker. 
uh, record better quality stream for you guys pretty much everything I've bought on my desk here um, is for this YouTube channel for you guys so yeah I've been trying to improve basically and um, I don't know I just hopefully um, we can get a bit bigger because you know it's pretty much everyone's goal in YouTube is to get as big as possible but just if I make any of you guys happy or like laugh when you guys are feeling down or like you're stressed because of exams um, that's pretty much the best feeling ever like when you guys leave comments it's one of the best things for me so yeah um, I don't really have a goal but obviously let's go for 10,000 and I believe you get the silver YouTube plaque which would be pretty goddamn cool not gonna lie so yeah we'll go with that let's let we'll say um 10,000 or is it 100 I think it's 100,000 yeah 100,000 for the silver play button which is pretty cool so yeah let's, let's let's go with that one now Josh Chambers says dick sized nipples or nipple sized dick so obviously right a nipple sized dick would be really small if you like that and that's just ridiculous no girl is going to be wanting to be with that no matter what they say, like, ooh, size doesn't matter, yeah, whatever. No one's going to want to be with you when your penis is that small, right? But then, dick-sized nipples, I mean, I don't know about you, right, but I have a nine-inch penis, right? And um, that would be quite awkward here. So, that's quite a difficult one. Um, I'm going to go with dick-sized nipples. Now, HBT Gamer, he says, do you like baseball? Um, in secondary school I used to play baseball in PE, uh, I did enjoy it, but yeah, it's not really a sport that I watch or support any teams of, so I like baseball, I like playing baseball, but do I like watching or supporting a team of like baseball? Uh, I'm going to have to go with no, but yeah, I definitely do enjoy playing it as I'm quite a sporty guy myself, um, so yeah, that answer, hopefully that answered your question. Luke Robinson here says, I'm Ethan Brad. I'm Ethan Bradbury! Turkey's Murkish, he says, what football slash soccer team do you support? Um, yeah, it's football, not soccer. And yeah, I support Chelsea and I support Sheffield United. Now, people um, assume that I'm a glory supporter or whatnot because I support two teams. But I'm not sure why it's so unheard of. But I support yeah Sheffield United. And the reason being I support Sheffield United is because um, I was born in Sheffield. Um, it's my hometown. And most of my family used to support well. My dad used to support it, um, other family members supported the other side, which was Sheffield Wednesday. So yeah, that's why I support Sheffield United. And the reason I support Chelsea is because ever since I was a baby, my parents, for some unknown reason, um, bought me Chelsea like kits to wear as a baby and whatnot. So I, I guess I kind of just got it from that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's why. Who knows? Uh, but it's not to do with glory, as um, if you've seen our recent uh, result and where we ended up in the table wasn't the best not gonna lie but yeah um, hopefully we'll be better next season so yeah that answers your question now Hudo7 says when did you start YouTube so yeah I've already answered this um, I'll leave it there when we start this channel but yeah it's quite a long time um, two years for these consortia's gaming and two years and 3,000 subs it's not too bad um, although at the minute we're a bit of a stalemate we don't seem to be going up or down but yeah, hopefully that will change soon. And last but not least, Geordie Pie Gold says, When you were younger, how much Lego could you fill up your ass? How much Lego can you stuff up your bum? Oh, for Christ's <laughs> sake! Love the reference tip between us. Um, gonna go with uh, 6.9. Anyway, that's going to be the end of that Q&A. If you guys have enjoyed, let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little gameplay you saw in the background. Um, it wasn't the best of games, but, you know, it's something just to keep your eyes entertained if you don't want to watch me, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you think of the comments below. Drop a like. If you could, share it with your friends. That would be awesome. And, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. And this is Consocious Gaming signing out. See you.